Hello, and welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. It's once again Monday, and time for Shipyard Champions. So let me just alt-tab here and uh, read the um, the challenge. But first off, the results from um, last week. Shared first place, we got Brother Monroe and Bro Silly with 7 points each. And shared second place, we got me and Requin87 with uh, 6 points each. Uh, Brother Monroe sank the uh, the fleet uh, the fastest, uh, faster than Brosilli, so I guess he won. Uh, I did get a, kind of an honorable mention by Brosilli for being the only one who brought a somewhat well-rounded fleet and not just battleships, uh, which ties into this week's challenge. Um, so, to read his post... Um, I thought we've been using battleships a bit too much lately, so the next challenge is to simply build one of any type of ship besides a battleship, and then fight, fight the tier of ship one higher. So for example, a DD would fight a light cruiser, a light cruiser would fight a heavy cruiser, a heavy cruiser would fight a battle cruiser, and a battle cruiser would fight a battleship. Obviously battleships would then be off the limit. Enemy ship will be the same year as your ship. Whatever nation you choose, range, weather, time of day, that's, uh, that's up to us. But here's the twist. You only get one point for sinking the enemy ship, but you can get an additional point if you choose to build a ship that no one else builds. Uh, so, I need to <laughs> choose a ship that no one el else builds, but I don't know what the other people are building, so... Um, uh, that's up to chance. I could do earlier year and uh, let's see for example build a torpedo boat and fight a DD. That's a possibility because it's uh, it's one tier below DD. But that's a very risky play to make because um, a torpedo boat could very easily be destroyed by a DD. I mean, there's not really that much you could do to a torpedo boat uh, with a torpedo boat, <laughs> other than hope your uh, few guns can get some lucky hits, or hope that the torpedoes work. But that's a little bit too risky. So uh, I don't want to blaze uh, France. Share the signs off. Weather will be clear. Daytime will be day. And I... What are the other people building? I don't know. I think I want to go with a DD versus a light cruiser. I might actually go to 19... Uh, 19 and I want to play against the French So let's see how this goes Yes, I can get double guns, okay if I couldn't I would um, Go um, a Couple of years up but double guns. That's fine Let's make my DD kind of big Range not important. Uh, I can <laughs> fifty-one knots. That's um, how fast can I make it? Thirty-nine. Might have to adjust that. Veterans, of course. Terrible uh, German uh, tower spotting. Armed tower. Let's go with that one. Well, I 
like so. So I've not decided yet where, whether or not I'm going for a uh, like pure gunfighter build. Or, uh, I need a funnel, of course. Silly. That's more funnel than I need. That's more funnel than I need. Uh, this won't fit. That's not enough funnel. Let's go like that to begin with. And I do want some torpedoes. Let's see, let's make my ship not not terrible. I can adjust some stuff to uh, standard ratio. Let's go semi-ballistic. Fast torpedoes, enhanced loading. Uh, I don't think I will need uh, radio. A little bit of armor doesn't hurt. And yeah, I will need to uh, reduce some stuff. And some pen and accuracy does not hurt. Four weight offset. just for good measure. Uh, let's reduce the range. Don't really need that. Uh, bulkheads is fine to have. 38 knots. 37 knots. Yes. Um... Do I need bigger torpedoes? Not really. How much do they weigh? Uh, they are faster. That's not a big weight difference, actually. Can I not fit a barbette? No, for some reason. That does make me more stable. So, I can probably reduce turret armor a little bit. And this stuff is nice to have. Starboard offset, what is not centered? This gun is not centered. Uh, 
That's a quite a bit of weight offset there. Thirty-four, thirty-six, pitch and roll. This actually makes my pitch and roll better. Thirteen percent four weight offset. No, that's the four deck, not the aft deck. There we go. Uh, yeah. Let's add some speed back. Thirty-seven point nine. Thirty-eight is still off the table. Yes, that's like a big jump. But it's it's functionally thirty-seven point nine and thirty-eight. That's functionally the same speed. Can even add some range just to make sure I don't. Uh, run out of fuel okay let's uh, let's fight a light cruiser now hopefully I won't get the turret lock or um, target lock bugs uh, we have kind of agreed in in the discord that uh, Restarts due to bugs is okay. But otherwise, uh, we get one try. Plenty of daylight left. They're smoking up. Pedals in the water. Yeah, that was not going to hit. The enemy torpedoes are also not going to hit. What kind of armor do you have? Should be able to pen that. Scoring some partial pens. It's a fast light cruiser for uh, 1920. I'm just going to keep peppering away while waiting for my torpedoes to reload and my smoke to be ready again. Then go in for another uh, torpedo attack. We 
which is not going to be easy. As this uh, light cruiser is a lot faster than I thought it would be. not get close enough to launch. Well, I didn't get close enough to launch, but not close enough to hit. Battlecruiser versus Battleship would be the easy option. I'm losing main guns. I was sure the French would build one of those stupid uh, donut-shaped light cruisers that go 21 knots. But they went and built something decent. See if I can get some of this flooding under control. I've got two functioning turrets left. Can't get away of taking too much flooding damage. So he's faster than me now. Ah, uh, that's a shame. It was going well until um, I got a little bit too daring with the uh, with the torpedo attack. Can it be done? Now that was my one um, like attempt that counts. Adds more uh, firepower. And that makes it overweight. Yeah, 
Now let's try with this. Give myself a little bit more turret armor. Even Barbet uh, armor, that's good. Can I make my guns a little bit bigger? Uh, 5.1, that's not really, no point in that really. Can I put a 3 inch gun on? Yes. What's the biggest gun I can put on that tiny Barbet? Three. I mean, it's something. Ship is overweight. 14% extra barrel length. Just to increase um, accuracy and penetration. At 5,000 meters, I I only pen three inches. Four point five inches at five thousand. Five point six. Let's go capped ballistic one. That actually made my ship overweight. Let's go capped ballistic two and then find somewhere to reduce some weight. Let's turn that down into a uh, two inch gun. Now let's do keep it a three inch, but just not uh, increase the barrel. Uh, still not good enough. Two inches, that's fine. More than enough, she said. Uh, yeah. Pitch and roll, still not good. It's, uh, it is what it is. Let's see if it's possible. That's a different light cruiser. Play in the smoke. Let's see if it works this time. Well, one of my torpedoes already exploded in the water. Save the last three for um, 
hopefully after I've reduced it a bit, gotten some flooding hits, made it a bit slower. So yeah, in the most recent patch, uh, smoke also hides ships. It does not just uh, reduce accuracy. It actually provides concealment. Which is pretty neat. Pascal, you do not have that much armor. AP accuracy should be better, so yeah. Yeah, I could struggle with the main belts. The four and ash belts uh, should be uh, quite easily penable. Not quite as um, fast as the last one, but still better than most AI-designed French light cruisers I've seen in the uh, campaign. Hail Mary torpedo launch. Ah, uh, he avoided them. My smoke works both ways, so... Uh The AI will always pop smoke once, uh, as long as it's available, not on cooldown. That's kind of annoying. I think I picked a very annoying matchup. I think light cruiser versus heavy cruiser. probably be easier. 
But then someone else might pick that, and I would not get the extra... Oh, torpedo detonation, that's nice. And some flooding. There we go. My guns are starting to work. So are his. Well, that was quite a bit of flooding cost. Yes. Okay, so it is possible. It just didn't work the first time, so it doesn't count. Uh, but yeah, that was... Um, so that was zero points for me. Uh, if this had been my first attempt, it would be one point for sinking it, and possibly one more point for... Uh, building a ship class that no one else built. Maybe. We'll see what people actually end up building. Goodbye, and take care.